comment below if you watched the hills when it came out and if you're as old as i am you probably did but if you didn't let me know in the comment section also i'm kind of curious to see who's watched it or who hasn't watched it anyways hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is sylvia yeah i do cruelty free makeup reviews hauls and lifestyle videos here on this channel so if you're interested in that make sure you subscribe and focusing okay i'm focusing now all right yeah so today i'm actually going to be reviewing a new makeup brand it is by lauren conrad which she did come out in the show the hills long time ago but she's came out with a lot of different things since then um, she has a clothing line she's at kohl's but this is her first beauty brand where she has makeup so i really just wanted to try out her products and review them for you guys because one of the things that interests me about the brand is that they are being Again, they're cruelty free and they claim that the products are clean environmentally friendly ethically sourced so she has a whole section on her website about their commitment to clean beauty and it has so much information about products how they're eco-friendly how the ingredients are ethically sourced all the things that they don't contain uh, for example plethlates parabens sles sls talc basically all the ingredients that we know that could be harmful also recyclable packaging tree free product cartons and 100 compostable shipping packaging they're also partnered with sure cane bio resin which is basically whenever possible they use tubes manufactured of sure cane bio resin which allows them to partner with sustainable farms and manufacturers that use renewable plant-based materials and avoid fossil fuel based ingredients so i feel like all of this stuff is really really important nowadays um, in our world because because there's so much global warming there's so much waste that's created that's affecting our wildlife our seas and everything so I feel like brands really need to uh, take leadership into creating brands that are eco-friendly ethically sourced and so that's why I wanted to review her products here on this channel because I am really interested in new brands that do that type of stuff so I will link her website down below and the page where it has all of the information about her brand Brand. all right enough of me talking so i am gonna go ahead and try out the products um so all of her packaging is very simple very sleek very i like the color that she chose it's like a very very nude pink peachy shade you can tell that the packaging is made with some sort of eco-friendly packaging you can really tell and it's just very simple packaging like it is a little simple it does look a little cheap but i understand because they're using recyclable packaging and they're using certain ingredients whenever possible so I purchased four of her products the liquid eyeliner the lipstick the lip and cheek tint and the liquid highlighter I've already done most of my makeup so I'm just gonna finish off with whatever products I have from her so I'm gonna go in first with the eyeliner the liquid eyeliner is $20 and it says that it's contact lens safe vegan friendly cruelty free paraben free and it's in the shade onyx it says that it's lightweight non-smearing formula no touch-ups are required i will check back in with you guys later on today just to show you guys how everything looks so the eyeliner has a very fine point which is really good because it just makes it easier to do the eyeliner i have a little bit of mascara on right now which i don't normally put mascara on before eyeliner but i forgot so um, i kind of just stopped myself before applying any more It looks really black like right away I can see that the eyeliner is super black all right so that's one side and that was like really easy the eyeliner has a very fine point to do this side which I have a little bit more trouble doing this side Ugh. Of course, that was good. kind of messed up on this side a little bit so I'm just gonna clean that up and then even out this side so that they can both match and then show you guys the final look all right you guys so this is how the eyeliner looks and I love it I really like it it's really really black it goes on really smooth it does dry down matte which is nice I like it when it dries down matte and it doesn't feel drying all right so next I'm gonna try out the lip and cheek 
tint so this one is $20 and it comes in the shade peony and it does come in a glass jar which is really really nice so I'm actually gonna use this as a blush because I did buy the lipstick so I'm gonna use that as my lipstick and this doesn't actually have any scent which is good because that's how you know it's like clean beauty isn't supposed to have any scents or any fragrance which is really good um, so yeah, it does, it does feel very creamy and like hydrating and I grab it on both fingers right here and then I just start applying on my cheeks. It does feel pretty sticky and creamy. I don't know how I feel about that because I have oily skin so sometimes I don't really like to use cream products. But this feels very sticky. So if you have really dry skin, um, this might actually work for you. It is a very, very pretty color. So I do like the color. I just don't know if I, I like the stickiness. So it's supposed to, I guess, look very natural. Just apply a bit. Apply a bit. I think it feels really nice on the lips because it is very, very hydrating and it does feel very creamy so I would probably end up using this on my lips more than I would use on my cheeks so I also purchased the liquid highlighter um, and it comes in a little tube like this and you get 0.37 fluid ounces the liquid highlighter is $26 which is a pretty pricey highlighter for only 0.37 fluid ounces and it's in the shade pearl the formula is light to medium coverage and lightweight and it gives a luminous finish okay Okay, so it comes with a like a little squeezy applicator. Um, I guess you're just supposed to squeeze it out on the back of your hand. I'm just gonna blend it out really quick. You guys can see. So there is the liquid highlighter. It's very subtle. Usually liquid highlighters are very concentrated and they look very bright. Um, but this is like super, super subtle. Um, it does feel hydrating on the back of my hand. It does feel very lightweight. It does dry down. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit more dot it right here and just apply it. I don't know I'm not really seeing anything on my face because of the lip and cheek tint it already has a glow so I just don't feel like the highlighter is doing much yeah I don't know that didn't really do that much you know I like the glow you know like I like the highlighters and the glow so it's like I feel like I have to continually like apply the highlighter so that I can actually see it. I feel like I don't see anything. This highlighter is not really doing it for me. I just feel like it gives a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of glow. But once it's blended out, I just feel like you could barely, barely see it. So as you see at the back of my hand, it just looks glowy. So that's the other hand. It just looks a little glowy, but you can barely tell. Not liking the highlighter so far. Moving on. All right, so the last product is the lipstick. So I got the shade Shell. She has four different shades on the website, and this is the one that I chose. Um, it says that the lipstick is smooth, full coverage, semi-matte color that's non-feathering and completely comfortable. I did apply a little bit of lip liner on my lips, just on the outside of my lips, because I like to apply lip liner and then go in with lipstick. And the lip liner that I'm using is from the Lip Bar and the shade straight 11 i will link it down below the lipstick doesn't really have a scent yeah so it doesn't have any kind of scent which is good and i'll just swatch it here on the back of this hand you guys are able to see it wow so it does have pretty good coverage um i just swiped it like one or two times and i can already see the shade of the lipstick it's just a very pretty rosy color so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it now That went on up pretty good. Definitely looks semi-matte. Not completely matte um, because it does have just a little bit of sheen. But that went on really, really good. It, it does feel very comfortable. It doesn't feel drying at all. Um, and I actually like the finish. By the way, if my eyebrows look dark is because I just got them microbladed so they do look darker than usual which is normal they're gonna lighten up if you want to know a little bit about brow microblading um, I did post like a short video on my Instagram if you want to check that out but I think they look good anyways so this is how the lipstick looks and I really really like this shade it's like a nude rosy pink shade I just feel like it is a perfect shade for everyday 
type of makeup it's just a really really pretty nude pink color i just like these type of colors so i'm glad that i chose this one i'm gonna go to brunch and i am gonna be doing a lot of things today so i will check back in with you guys this afternoon it is 11 47 a.m right now but i will check in with you guys this evening after wearing it for six or eight hours and just let you guys know how my makeup looks and my final thoughts on the lauren conrad beauty what i recommend to you guys all right so i'll see you guys here in a little bit hey guys so I'm checking in with you guys. It is now 4.44 p.m. So it's almost five o'clock. It's been about five hours since I applied the makeup and this is how my face looks right now. The eyeliner actually still looks pretty good. Of course, my skin got oily around my t-zone right here i always get oily but the blush is still on i guess but it's very glowy and shiny which i don't really like that i feel like blotting right now the lipstick i did go to brunch i did eat i did drink yeah so i wasn't expecting for the lipstick to stay on there's only just a little bit on but i'm gonna reapply because i need to reapply the lipstick so I just reapplied the lipstick and I do like it but after a while my lips start feeling dry because it starts to come off so that's the only thing I am probably gonna blot right here on my t-zone but I'll come back in a couple of hours just to show you guys my makeup again I still want to check in with you guys one more time so I will see you in a little bit hey guys so it is actually 11 p.m i meant to come on here earlier to give you guys my final thoughts but i guess i did wear the makeup for a really long time so as you guys can see the eyeliner is still on the eyeliner did last a pretty good amount of time the lipstick is actually still on from the second time that i reapplied it i would actually recommend the eyeliner and the lipstick the highlighter and the lip and cheek tint i would not recommend those so if you have dry skin maybe you will like it but i didn't like it and the highlighter definitely did not like it yeah that is my review on the lauren conrad beauty so if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe hit the like button if you like this video and hit the bell to get notified when i upload a new video thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in my next video